What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling oh the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope everything is transpiring in your life for the better, man. Hope the family's good. Hope your money good. Hope you're smelling good. The whole nine, man. I just hope you're good, period, man. But if this is your first time here on House Colossus, man, this is what we do. We have ourselves a good time discussing this art of fragrance. If that's something that you're interested in, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you'll be notified anytime I drop new content, man. It's a good place to be. Just ask my family down in the comment section where we get it popping, man. We just have ourselves a really good time putting each other on some bangers. I ain't gonna even lie, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all definitely be getting your boy right, and I pray that I'm doing the same for you guys, man. But I know y'all not here for that because today is Tuesday. Mighty, mighty, mighty Tuesday. You know what it is. You are tuned in to another episode of Middle Eastern Tuesday. Yes, sir. Middle Eastern Tuesday back again. One more Tuesday. And through the grace of God, the next Tuesday. And one Tuesday after that. And then we're going to be into 2023. But it'll be a Tuesday on that too. You know, you know how this go. Tuesday, 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 man. I do my best to bring you guys a Middle Eastern fragrance, man, that I believe is absolutely phenomenal. We're talking about price point, we're talking about scent profile, and all that, man. Today is gonna be a little bit different, y'all. We're gonna smell this together. I did take the cellophane off, man, but this one coming from the house that I I think just killed it this year, man. From the house of Latafa, y'all. Today we're gonna be talking about Latafa's. Leal Malaki. Really dope box. Got a little stallion on there. Not Megan, though. <laughs> Got a little stallion on the front. This says, ooh, Leal Malaki. This is Eau de Parfum Concentration from the House of Latafa, y'all. Brown box, like some gold accent. It does have like a texturized feel to it. I don't know if y'all really care about that, but I'm going to let you know anyway. Brown on this side. Gold on this side with that little... I don't know what you even call that, but it's texturized. Then you got information on the box. You got your QR code, barcode, batch code, and all that information is there. Fairly new bottle, man. This was manufactured in August of 2022. Shelf life of 2027. But as I always tell you guys, store your fragrances correctly. They'll last forever. Meaning, for those who don't know, Climate control, you have to keep it in dark places for the most part, away from sunlight. You can't put it in the bathroom or they'll obviously they'll kill the fragrance in my opinion, at least from my experience, man. So away from heat, minimal sunlight, and room temperature. I guess that'd be the best way I could tell for y'all. But yeah, that's the box, man. Authenticity sector on the back, man. I purchased this off of Fragrance by FragranceBuy.ca for about 20 bucks. I think it was like $19.84. This is readily available. I just seen it on Gift Express for about, I want to say about $15, y'all. That's the box. Now I want to show you guys the bottle. This is the bottle. Really, really nice bottle. It's like a cube square type of vibe. Kind of has like this, it looks like orange or brown type of juice. This is a plastic cap, snugs into place, so I would not suggest you hold it by the cap. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to do that. This is like little rhinestones in the cap, black cap, gold, just, you know, simple. Now I'll show you guys distribution, distribution, hing, hing, hing. Whoo. Mmm. Okay, Latafa, like I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again, man. Latafa, you're 2022. If I'm giving out awards, y'all, y'all did y'all thug this. Middle Eastern fragrances came through heavy this year. Very heavy. This is nice. I'm getting like a musky, sandalwood, ooh type of vibe. 
I do get some type of citruses, a little spicy green, sort of kind of sweet, but I'm getting more like a herbaceous, like herbal type of ooh, woody type of vibe. That musk is prominent, that sandalwood is, you know how sandalwood sometimes makes things a little bit creamy? This ain't that type of sandalwood. This is kind of like that sandalwood and that woody, woody type of vibe is kind of playing like cedarwood in a sense with some green tendencies. This is really nice. Oh, I believe this is more masculine than feminine. However, I wouldn't be, I, wa I wanna know what the dry down on it would really be. Let's go look up some information, man. I'm gonna look up some information for y'all. So, let's see. This is, oh, so this was launched in 2018. Top notes are fruity notes, citruses, spicy notes. Middle notes are jasmine, gardenia, honey, orchid. Hmm. Okay, white florals, okay. Musk, okay, so I got musk, sandalwood, there's caramel and amber in here. So there's no, ooh, I'm not, I don't know why I'm picking up like a oody facet. Let me, let me spray this on skin, y'all. Spray it on skin, we gonna get it in, you feel me? Okay, so on skin, I'm still getting that musk, sandalwood type of vibe. It's kind of a little alcoholic a little bit. A little alcoholic, but ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing to a player. <laughs> ain't nothing to a player. Okay. Okay, now some of those white florals are starting to come out. I, I pick up a little bit of the jasmine. Musk, sandalwood is still prominent. It's warm. I wonder if... I'm, I was intrigued by the caramel, so I kind of wonder if that's going to come out more in the dry down. Because it's in the base. Yeah, for me, definitely more masculine than feminine. Kind of... I won't say it's a challenging fragrance, but it's a fragrance where you have to have confidence to wear it. I would definitely say, okay, now it's starting to get sweeter. Okay. Okay, now that kind of herbaceous cedarwood, sandalwood, oody type of vibe is kind of dying down. Now it's warm. Now it's starting to get sweet. Those white florals are still prominent. I'm guessing the sweetness that I'm getting, maybe that caramel. I'm not getting too much of the fruits anymore. I like this though. I would say this is more so like a, I would say this is an evening type of scent. I won't necessarily say date night, but evening out, you're around a lot of people. This is projecting pretty heavily off of my hand right now. Yeah, that caramel coming through for sure. I like this. Now, now that that caramel is starting to play, I. It's straddling the line of unisex. I think this is more masculine in my opinion, but however, I think the skin chemistry is gonna change it. Like if I put this on a female, it'd probably be a totally different experience, but I like this. Evenings, I wouldn't say day night, but evenings, casual. More, this is more of a daring fragrance. So if it's kind of like a statement maker in my opinion. I think the longevity on this is gonna be really, really good. I like this, man. Again, I purchased this off of fragrancebuy.ca for about $19.84. It's still readily available on there. Bottle presentation is really nice. I think it's something you could definitely consider to check out. Um, I like this, man. I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna say anything bad about it. I gotta spend more time with it, but this is just really a, like a first impression, y'all. I ain't really got a chance to really give a full, full wear to it. That's because I've really been wearing Armoth Odyssey. Odyssey from Armoth has been going crazy on me. That will be on MET next week, but I really, really enjoy this. This is nice, different. The, I, like the floral and usually when, when Middle Eastern brands do like rose and ooh, I can pick that up. Now this is more like florals and ooh, like a white floor. It kind of has like some similarities to like you know how the white florals and oody type of facet that's in, uh, dang, what's that fragrance? Sabwa Oud, Sabwa Oud from Rihanna. It kind of plays like that, but now this is more sweeter because that caramel and this is warmer. Warmer, warm, warm, warmer, you know what I mean. But yeah, this is nice, yo. Yeah, this is definitely getting sweeter and I'm, I, I'm really, really digging that. But yeah, man, so that's what we talked about on MET today, man, that's Oud. La Malaki from the House of Latafa. I really enjoy this, man. I think this is gonna be a nice, nice fragrance. I definitely think it's fall and winter appropriate. I don't see, I don't think you should wear this in the spring nor the summer because it's a very 
dense fragrance as well. However, you never know with this kind of sweeten it up, it may become more aromatic, but on my skin now, it's really dense and deep. But yeah, man, definitely check this out. If you have this in your collection already, what has your experience been with it? Right now, just off first impressions, I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. Now that it's cooler, man, I'm just I'm just waiting for the perfect time, man. But as I said, I have been rocking our Moth Odyssey lately, and it's just, it's really been killing the game. And I've been trying to make time to wear some of my older stuff too, y'all, but on MET, y'all, we spoke about Latafa's Lay Leal Malaki, a really nice floral, oody, medicinal, warm, and sweet fragrance, man. As I said, to me, the white florals and the oody type of nature kind of reminds me of Sabwa Ur from Rihanna. I'm not saying that they're one on one or they're alike, but they could be in the same same family. This one's just a tad bit more sweeter, in my opinion. And I'm, I'm digging this as this is transitioning, y'all. If you have this, let me know your experience, y'all. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned into the House of Colossus. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell one more friend, to have that friend, to tell a friend about my videos, y'all. Until we meet again, much love from your boy. I appreciate y'all love. I appreciate y'all support, man. And hopefully I can get to 3,500 subscribers before my birthday, which is New Year's Day. So help your boy out. Peace.